what I'm doing, folks, is we're gonna we're gonna paint the northern lights. So on this 18 by 24 inch canvas, I've just taken some Prussian blue, uh, and I'm gonna coat the top half where we're gonna have the northern lights. And down here, I've done a little bit of a, um, a drawing with a little bit of grey oil paint, just where I want a little bit of landscape scenery in. So all I'm doing is having a little bit of oil and a little bit, just a little bit of oil. Don't want too much because we. We want it, I want this thick and firm up here. Well, not thick, I want a thin layer, but I want to really work it into the canvas, if that makes sense. So really spread it about with your big brush, okay? You could do this on a black canvas, but uh, I, I just want to change it a little bit and see what we get with just pure Prussian blue. And at the top, we may get a little bit of black thrown into there. Now I've not seen the Northern Lights, so I don't think I have. I've seen a green haze on the horizon once or twice, but that's as far as I think I've got to see in the Northern Lights. But my uh, my family have been over to see it. My brother and his family have seen the Northern Lights and I've asked if I could paint a picture of it. So I've only ever painted the Northern Lights once. So I'm gonna paint, uh, I'm gonna paint this and give it a little bit of a different feel. Okay, so I'm not bore you with painting the whole sky in, so I'll I'll see you once I've finished painting the sky in. But before we do say bye bye for a minute or two, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You know it makes sense, folks. Happy days. So what I've done is I've painted all the sky colour in. Okay, it's a very very thin layer of paint, and I've put some greeny bluey yellowy colors just above the uh the mountain range here uh what i'm what i'm going to take because i want multiple colored um the aurora borealis in there but what i want to do is going to take a uh, a rag and i'm going to remove some some of this paint off of here because i want some clouds in here as well so if you just keep rubbing this paint and just keep moving your cloth about you're going to end up removing some of that area there and I, I want to put some clouds which will push the northern lights further back so I'm going to start by just rubbing in some areas there before I get a chance to paint the northern lights may need a, a fair few of these these tissues these are lint free tissues are good for drying your hands with actually but um, where do I want another cloud I'll put another I want another one round about here I think just clouds in the sky uh, and I don't want major clouds but I just want enough look at all the paint coming off so if we move the paint the next layer will be a little bit easier to stick if you know what I mean uh, I think the removal of the Prussian blue is possibly one of the greatest assets we could do to this to this uh, technique okay so I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and white just mix them on this uh, this flat brush and we're going to have a little bit of a bright spot just here okay really push that in okay and it, it will mix with what blues down there but of course there's not a lot of blue left on there the canvas is just basically stained okay so we can put that in like like that okay make sure you wipe the brush before reloading and I think, because I've never seen the Northern Lights, so I'm just going off photographs that that uh, that my family have taken over the over the, the holiday period. Um, we could have. Uh, I'm going to go there and start carving this down. I'm using this instead of a fan brush. Okay, Paul Paul Ranson did a fantastic tutorial a few days back that I watched. On the northern lights in preparation for doing something like this always always watch other artists on youtube if you're wanting to do something that you've not done often uh and learn something you learn something from every single body that's putting any video out there and he had some absolutely amazing tips on painting the northern lights so i'm gonna check that video out go check paul out if <laughs> you probably have anyway uh, so I'm going to put some of these in and just work on that. But I don't want just greens and blues 
uh, up here. We're going to have a cloud in front of this. So we'll, we'll put that there. I want magentas as well. So let's put a magenta one in. So let's grab another brush, one that's dry and clean. Okay, so magenta, so these are Windsor and Newton's paints, so you get a couple of funky colours, don't you? So magenta, and I'm just going to add some of that white to it. I like this magenta colour. It's a nice, bright, vibrant, purpley colour, like so. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. So I think we'll have a nice magenta coloured one that starts off about there and works its way around. And then, because I don't know what colour they are, just, just these northern lights, like I've said before. But I don't think it really matters, does it? As long as we come up with a nice composition that looks something like. And uh, I've added a bit more magenta as we get towards the top of the painting. Just there, so it's a bit darker. Uh, maybe goes off there. And then just carve in some of these, I'll, I'd like that. I'm gonna do another one, I think. Uh, I don't know where though. We'll pop that, this one here. Wobble the brush side to side. Again, you use a fan brush if you want. Turn the brush around so I can get, get another go in it there like that and just work on these uh, they want to be stronger down towards the horizon i think um when, where's this cloud start there so we'll put a bit more down in there like that okay maybe 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 we'll get some violet on the go as well that'd be a nice color violet purple yes i think the magic happens when you start to blend these out so and you want to go in one direction i'm using a very in fact it's brand new uh massive fan brush for this and i'm just going to try and lift up and just blend and if you get too much paint on the brush just just wipe it off there i think that's working like that yeah of course i'll need to define some of these i think as we go along but i'm liking how it's building up so the aurora doesn't look much just yet because of the whiteness of all this canvas just yet just here i'm just re-sketching in some of these mountain ranges oh oils i might have to work on that little spot there i don't like it it looks a little bit too gray from where i am I might have to re-blend some white into that i'll grow the mountain or whatever i want to do i don't know but yeah we'll just put some more shapes in here i can't remember how it goes off we'll worry about that part in a moment but we want to start laying out the foundations of of this mountain all right, so I think we've got a couple of nice peaks. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, so let's just sketch something in maybe there. Like that. And does that push that one back? Probably. Something like that. We'll work on it in a minute. We'll work on it in a minute. Okay, it's, it's no big deal. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere with the composition. Um, so all I'm going to do is just push in some some of this grey colour just down there in these rocks and little mountains just just here we'll have some snow down down here as well but for now we'll just push some of this rock stuff in 
and then we can put a tiny bit of highlight and stuff on there. Remember it's night time so we won't see a great deal of detail of highlights and shadows or anything like that. Pure pure white we don't really want down on the snow either because, because it's reflected the, uh, the, the dark sky I think. Let's grab a bit more of the dark colour, a little bit of black I think in there like that. Think there. Let's maybe we'll tease that around like so. Merge the two colours together and see what we've got. This one will do. Pull out a bit of the white into this, and there is a bit of colour on the brush, a bit of blue, I think. But I just want some white colours down to start with, or darker colour, uh, lighter colours down to start with. Then we can can always blue it off. It's <laughs> With the Prussian blue, it's really difficult to get rid of that blue once it's on. So we can blue it off whenever we want. There, just bring that down. Uh, that we will have, I'm, I'm planning in my head, we've got some tree line about here. So we'll put some trees there. But for now, we'll just push some snow into the canvas, into the fabric. So just tease in a little bit of mist. Just down here where some of these trees are, these little herds of trees. And I'm going to put a few little, few little chalets or, or barns or whatever down here. You know, with a, a view like all this, we should be able to come out here and have a little bit of a holiday or a vacation. And look at the Northern Lights. So just put a... Bit of brown down there, like that. Doesn't matter if they're quite tall yet. In fact, I'm going to darken that off a little bit just there. We'll put some windows in, little chimney, and we'll have a side on there like that, down like so. Again, we'll have to work on the colours, what's going to be in highlight and not. Again, this is a little bit of a, a weird kind of painting because it's in the night. But it's all lit up, if you know what I mean. There, like so. So, well, we've got that on the go. I'm just going to touch, same dirty brush, just grab a touch of black and just darken this side off. Okay, like that. Just darken it off. And I've used the black there. But you could use the blue if you want. Let's pick up some white and we could put some snow on there. Like that. Of course, we'll work on all this lot and make it look pretty neat. And anything that doesn't look too neat, we can just put a, a nice little tree in front or something like that. I don't know. There, like that. Just your casual little barney kind of shape. Touch of yellow and white. Get this perspective right there. Like so. We can just put some little windows in. Like so. You don't have to go crazy with them. And make them all perfect. Just like that. Let's put some water in down here. So this is just the Prussian blue. And a little bit of oil just a little bit so we can move and blend the color I'm just gonna push this in this doesn't take much doing okay but we want some reflections of the lights and everything in the water as well so we'll just push this in really firmly push it in that's why you need a good stiff brush I'm using a, a number uh, eight filbert brush Windsor and Newton filbert brush to do this you want to push it into the grain of the canvas though these canvases i'm using at the moment are quite smooth the nap of it is quite smooth you still really have to push it in you don't want any white on there the only white that we can see if you can see any white is what we've painted in okay so let's let's do that let's put a bit of paint there right so right Grab yourself a lint-free tissue, clean and dry, and let's just have a look at where we're going to put some of the reflections. 
So just work like that down there that'll give it a little bit of a better key for for some of the colors that we're going to put on there keep turning the uh the paper around so we get a bit of a clean clean cut through the paint just like so oh, that's some don't have to marry up perfectly with what's what's happening above okay just just a few things here and there there and here just to just to give the indication look at that the stain what's left is what we'll work with and we'll maybe take that off there like so and is there something on this side maybe there like that like that now we'll put some yellows and reds on there and it should look there, take that to the shoreline should look like a little bit of a tally up of what we've got above. We'll trick his eye. We'll trick his eye there like that. Okay, so just on the fan brush, I put the same colours as we have up in the sky. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen the Northern Lights in its entirety like this. So I wouldn't have a clue if these are the same colours. But I think it looks pretty cool on a, on a picture anyway. So, in fact... As I've mentioned before, my brother's been to, to uh, Iceland to see the Northern Lights and things like that. My other brother's fiance is from Norway, where this is a regular occurrence. And, and wow, what beautiful imagery we see here. Anyway, right, clean, dry brush. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and navigate all this down here without trying to diffuse it too much. But, and it is dry, give it a beat against the easel if you're unsure and then I'm just going to grab and pull straight down now I may have to knock off any excess or wipe the brush clean as I go along but remember this is just the water so it's going to be completely diffused as opposed to the sky I'm just going to clean that there and pull straight down like that I think in Paul's video, he said we can trick his eye. And I think that's exactly what we're going to try and do here. Trick his eye. Or this is to be the same as above. So there we go. So just keep teasing this till we get it something about where we want it to be. I'm liking it already. Very gently across the old thing, as Bob Ross would say, three hairs and some air, something like that. Just like that, just so we just diffuse it. And it also gives a little bit of a sideward sheen to the, uh, to the composition. But I think we've got there with the reflection. When we put a bit of water line over the top with a palette knife, then it'll give it a little bit more of a, if you know what I mean. Of course, we're gonna put a tree here, some stones, and we're nearly done. There we go, just a couple of little water lines around the stones and around the bank, and I think we have got a nice finished a Northern Lights painting. Well, this was truly inspired by the works of Paul Ranson and Bob Ross, and the, obviously the photographs from my uh, beloved family. Uh, if you do something like this, please share with me what you guys have been getting up to. I'd love to see your work. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Hit that like button, like the video. Leave me a nice big comment. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.